Hey guys, Troy here with another pen mail video. It's actually been a fairly decent pen mail day today, as well as since my last video, I've gotten uh, at least one, if not a couple, pens. But I'm probably only going to show you the ones uh, that just recently arrived before today. I'm going to show you this one. All right, let's start with this right here. I got this from Fonto Plumo uh, in the Netherlands, which is really kind of interesting because this is a pen made in Italy. And I bought it from Fonto Plumo in the Netherlands, and it was shipped to me from Germany. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, so anyway, um, this arrived several days ago. And I've heard about the Leonardo uh, collection. Now, my understanding is Leonardo is kind of a sideline uh, from the guys who uh, run um, Armando Simone Club. To be honest with you, I don't know a lot about the history, but it came highly recommended. So I went ahead and I checked it out, and I found a, a pen there at a relatively decent price and quality. Uh, so considering what it is, I got the Leonardo Momento Zero Positano in a blue. So it comes uh, with a booklet. It came with uh, some ink cartridges. This came in a cellophane wrapper, and this was the pen. You got to admit, that's a right pretty blue. And with that gold accent on it, that's really pretty. So I was told, and I, I, I know some others have just about put this in the GOAT category, the uh, greatest of all time category. Um, don't know if I would put that in the GOAT category, personally. Um, I would put it in a pretty darn good category though an absolutely beautiful category I mean look at that resin that resin with that blue and the, and the, and the white swirls and you can see right on there you've got the the Leonardo Officia Italiano yep Italiana number 1309 is a number on that particular pen so Let's uh, go ahead and box this, put it out of the way, over here. This particular pen, I mean, it. you can see the, uh, and this is not meant to be a full review, by the way. Uh, this is just introducing uh, what I got, because I've only had this several days, and I've inked it up, and I haven't done a lot with it yet. I've done some writing with it, and I've tried to use it as much as I can. Uh, since I got this before the weekend, I was using this pen all weekend long. Not that I do a lot of writing on weekends uh, compared to the rest of the week, uh, but you've got um, you know, a nice girthy pen. It's got a it's pretty good girth and length to it. I like the size of this particular pen. This clip, however, is a little difficult to work with, and you can see you've got kind of a conical uh, thing on the cap as well as at the end of the pen right there. And of course you get that gold trim there, gold trim there, and a gold trim on the band. You open it up and you got a gold trimmed steel nib and it actually writes fairly well. I've had a few hard starts with this thing, so I may have to just go ahead and give it a good flushing, uh, but it's written okay. So from Fonto Plumo in the Netherlands, the Leonardo Momento Zero uh, Positano. And I do believe I put uh, in this uh, particular pen some Waterman Serenity Blue. Like I said, I have had a few start hard start issues. Um, when you, you lay it down and you go to pick it up a little bit, it skips at first and then picks right up and starts writing. So I'll probably try to give it a good flushing and uh, see if there's still some gunk in there from the manufacturing process. And I did notice on the side, I think I've cleaned most of it off, but there was some sticky uh, stickiness residue and uh, like a little scuff, and I think I cleaned that off from the cap of the pen. But it's a beautiful pen. I love the size of it. I love how um, it holds in the hand. Um, I'm impressed with it as far as uh, the physicality of it. And it writes fairly smooth when it writes. And like I said, we'll, we'll try to do a little bit of maintenance on that. All right, now onto the stuff that arrived today. Here is a fairly inexpensive 
uh, pen. It's only like six bucks. If you are looking for a Waterman, uh, this is obviously a child's pen uh, manufactured and distributed primarily in Europe. This is about the third or fourth one of these I've purchased. It's very similar to the Waterman GIF, but it, it says it's the Waterman Indy. Even though it's like just like a GIF, it, I'm assuming Indy because <laughs> you know the decoration on it of uh, you know little Indian faces, American Indian faces. But you know it's, it's just like the GIF. And it was like six dollars, so I said for six bucks, okay, I'll buy it. And I know my son does not have one, so I'll see about giving him that. It does not come with a cartridge or a converter, but it can take either. And fortunately, I've got some cartridges and converters laying around the house. So, and it's uh, usually a fine steel nib that these come in, um, because I've got uh, two of them here. My wife has one, and uh, so this is like the four, you know, at least the fourth one maybe fifth that I've purchased thus far. So, you know, inexpensive Waterman, probably from like the 1980s or 1990s, uh, meant to be uh, children's pens. All right, so, inexpensive Waterman. Now, speaking of Waterman, uh, here's another Waterman that I got. And this was not an inexpensive Waterman by comparison, but it is a uh, Waterman Forum from the 1980s. This was new old stock. I was told that this particular pen was used um, to be a display in a store, but it had not been used before. So uh, it may have a few scuffs and uh, you know, that kind of thing on it, but still new old stock never inked. You can see it's got almost like a paisley pattern, or I think they call it the potpourri pattern. Very different, uh, but you still got you know, the, the gold-toned bifurcated uh, clip that is typical of Waterman's in that particular shape. Still got the medium nib sticker right on it. Uh, there's the, the bottom, see what that looks like. The top has got the Waterman logo that you uh, probably could see. You open it up and it is a cartridge converter pen and it's got a decent nib to it. I have not inked this up. I just got it. As a matter of fact, what was interesting, um, I got it um, from these folks missing pen out of Germany and so uh, just arrived a little bit in this box <laughs> so when you see this box you're going yeah it better not be a Lamy it better be the Waterman that I ordered and sure enough you pull it out pull off all the bubble wrap and it is the Waterman this did not come with a cartridge or a converter but fortunately I have some Waterman converters that were uh, sitting around in my drawer so I was able to grab one put it in I have not inked this up yet I just got it just a few minutes ago so we'll see how that goes so I'm looking forward to playing with this you can't really call it vintage it's more of a modern Waterman uh, but still it's uh, from the 1980s so several decades old at least 30 years old or so um, and I was in probably in high school when this particular pen was released all right also in today's pen mail many of you have heard about the pay it forward project uh, it's a fairly decent uh, idea a great project idea and um, the pay it forward guys now I've donated to them not only um, some monetarily uh, monetarily but also with my time volunteering at the table uh, at the Raleigh Pen Show uh, and also the um, donating a bunch of pens to give away the basically the idea is um, they put together fountain pen starter kits and they started uh, at the DC Pen Show not this past year but the year before and uh, pens were just there available for the taking that you could gift them to somebody, uh, especially kids, uh, to get them started in writing and in fountain pens. And they had a Kickstarter project, and I was getting into I didn't even know it was ongoing at the time. So I got in towards the end of the Kickstarter project. Um, a lot of the good stuff was already gone. Um, they had uh, some pens, I think, by uh, Ryan Krusak that uh, were already gone so all right I got in on the the basic level of getting some of these story notebooks and ink so from the pay it forward project and papier plume uh, the heart of gold I have no idea how good this ink is I do know that I have some ink from papier plume with which I was happy and some not so much uh, but we'll see how that goes I don't even know really what color the ink is 
Um, I'm assuming it's kind of like a ye off yellow color. And uh, I've heard some good things, however, about Story Notebooks. It's from Story Supply. So I'll give these a try here in just a little bit. Like I said, just showed up in the mail just a little bit ago. So um, I'll be able to play with that. So that's my pen mail for today. Now let me clue you in on uh, this is going to be an awesome pen month for me. I can tell you right now, I have been waiting since uh, September of 2017 for a pen from Sean Newton. He's just that busy uh, making custom pens and trying to uh, have pens ready for pen shows and to keep his income coming in. Uh, he's also been really busy with um, expansions to his workshop in both tools and uh, space-wise, so I understand. And just this weekend, he was turning my new Shinobi pen, so that should be showing up here shortly. I'll be able to get it, play with it. I've been waiting on it for a while. I'm really looking forward to it. And my Grail pen. My first real Grail pen. The first pen that I looked at and said, oh, 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 yes. Now that is my ultimate goal in, in pen collecting is that right there. That's what I want to have, and I will consider that to be a trophy pen for me. I've got a couple of those and this is one of them and it is on the way as a matter of fact tracking said that it's only 35 miles from here and it was leaving from Scottsdale Arizona to come to North Carolina it's sitting right now in FedEx in holding in Raleigh and I'm still waiting for it and I was like what what do you mean it, it's I'm still waiting on delivery it should be out today because it's been sitting in Raleigh but no, they get it. They get it in a shipping container, just waiting because the promised delivery date wasn't until at least Wednesday, and they're not going to deliver it till Wednesday. So it's taking four days, four days to go the last 35 miles. I told them you could take that box, strap it to the back of a turtle, point it east on the road, and it would end up at my home faster than one of your delivery trucks. Are you serious? So. Waiting on my Grail pen. I've already posted uh, something on it on uh, an online forum, but uh, you'll just have to wait to see it when I get it.